Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you all of the seeds that I ordered for our garden for 2024. All of these seeds are from MI Gardener. I like that their seeds are affordable and they have a lot of options without it being completely overwhelming. I do feel like some seed companies, I just don't even know where to even start. So they have plenty of options without it being crazy. Um, I got my order probably about a month ago and I am just so excited to review everything with you. This is my first time starting seeds indoors. Otherwise I've just bought like the little plant starts from a local nursery, which is completely fine. I'm happy to do that this year if my seeds don't take, but we're going to attempt starting our own seeds indoors under grow lights for the first time this year. In the past, I have tried to start a couple seeds like in pots in the windows and that has not worked at all. So you will see a couple of these packs are open from last year and they just were not successful, but that was not the seeds fault. They all germinated. They just weren't able to actually grow well because they were struggling by my window. Um, so let's just get started. I grow Walla Walla onions every year. I usually get the little, again, the little starts from a local nursery, but we're going to try planting these indoors and then we'll transplant them to the garden once they have a couple inch, you know, little stem to them. So hopefully that works. It'll be an experiment. Either it'll be great or we will learn from it is what I've decided. Then here are my three pepper varieties. Again, they have so many options and I was just trying to narrow it down. So I will definitely be starting all of these. This is a California Wonder Bell Pepper, just kind of a basic bell pepper. Jalapeno peppers, love jalapeno peppers for salsa. What else? Cowboy candy, just eating um, like fresh in recipes out of the garden. We have this giant Marconi pepper. I forget who was talking about this, but I'm very excited to start this. It says it's sweet with a hint of smoke, which that just intrigues me. Um, for tomatoes, we got, I am very excited about this. It's a ground cherry tomato. I've never had these before, but I think they look so fun and I know my toddler will like them. I think I will enjoy them. I'm very excited just to try those. Um, we are definitely going to be growing, let me find it. So we have four different varieties of tomatoes. Again, I try not to get too carried away, but it's just so fun looking at seeds. So I'm definitely going to be doing the Amish paste tomato. I have grown paste tomatoes for the past two years that we've had a garden and I love them. They produce so much, so much fruit. Um, they're very disease resistant. They're good with too much water, not enough water. They have just, they've never let me down and they're really good for sauces and canning and things like that. We're also going to be doing this large red cherry tomato. I just try to pick a basic cherry tomato because that's my toddler's favorite tomato variety is the little ones that he can just eat straight out of the garden. He will not eat tomatoes indoors or from the grocery store. He only eats them if he picked them off the plant and eats them. So I will grow a cherry tomato for him. Then I also got the Bonnie Best tomato and the Homestead tomato. I'm not positive if we'll be starting these seeds this year. We'll just see how much space I have but they both looked like really good varieties. So I will definitely start them sometime. We'll see if this year is the year or if I wanna save them for next year. We have quite a few herbs. I really wanted to step up my herb growing game this year. I usually just do kind of basil and cilantro are my two basic ones, but I really would like to replace a lot of our store-bought herbs with homegrown herbs this year. So we have um, Mammoth Long Island Dill, Calypso Cilantro, Italian large basil, Italian oregano, dark green flat leaf parsley, and vera, which says common lavender. <laughs> so just a basic lavender. Um, so we're gonna be starting all of those this year. And usually herbs are relatively easy to grow. I've just started herbs straight into the garden from seed and they have grown okay. I'm gonna start them inside under the grow lights this time to give them a little bit of a head start and hopefully they do even better this year. We have two lettuces. I have a couple lettuce seeds left over from last year, but these two are the new ones and I'll definitely be growing them. I might just also add a couple of seeds from last year as well. So this is a Paris Island romaine lettuce. This is a head lettuce. I will start this indoors to give it a little bit of a head start before I transplant it to the garden. And then the salad bowl mix, I will just kind of sprinkle this in an area in the garden so we can just kind of cut from it and harvest the whole, let's see. This is a premium artisan blend of greens. So we will use this for salads. I usually start lettuce in about two week increments. So kind of as the, the one is 
you know, slowing down, the next batch is ramping up. So we have lettuce all spring into the summer. For squash, we have had major issues with the squash vine borers, powdery mildew, and squash bugs have been huge problems for our garden. So I tried to pick varieties that are at least somewhat resistant to those things. So the sweet meat squash, um, it says it has a thicker stem and they're not a favorite of the squash vine borer and they're also tolerant to powdery mildew. So hopefully these are gonna be okay, we'll see. Um, but this will be just like for pumpkin pie, baking pumpkin, that kind of thing. And then I have two options for zucchini, the Italian striped zucchini and the Black Beauty zucchini. The Black Beauty is just kind of the normal zucchini you're used to seeing at a grocery store. It doesn't say anything about being resistant to any kind of disease, but I figured we should at least try the basic one. And this one is, um, it says it's tolerant to disease. So we'll give it a shot and we shall see. It's all just an experiment. Um, these two, I did try to grow these last year indoors. It did not work well. They germinated, but they just, they there wasn't enough light for them. So this one is a Calabrese broccoli, which has one big head. That's what I'm looking for in a broccoli. I don't want a whole bunch of little offshoots. I just want one big head of broccoli, like you see at the grocery store. And then this one is a Danish ball head cabbage. Um, it says it has a really good storage shelf life. So that's why I'm gonna try to grow it. We'll see how it goes. What have I not showed you? Oh, carrots. I have a couple random carrot seeds that were given to me that I've just accumulated over the years. So I'm gonna plant some of those just to try to work through them. But this is supposed to be a um, really good carrot for thick soil or heavy, dense soil, which we have some pretty heavy soil here. And it's also really good for canning, freezing, and storing. So that is what I'm going to plan on using these for. I'll plant the other varieties that we have to use just kind of for fresh eating. And then we'll try to use these for our storage carrots going into the fall. I would love to have more fresh vegetables from the garden stored in our house for us to eat throughout the fall and winter. Um, I am planning to grow zinnias. I saved seeds for my zinnias last year, so I didn't have to buy any this year, but they are some of my favorite flowers, zinnias and cosmos. I've never grown cosmos, but I think they're so beautiful. They get so tall and just so dainty. I love them. So I'm going to try to grow them this year. I have the dwarf dazzler red cosmo and the Picatee cosmo. We will see how those goes. Plus the, um, zinnias. Like I said, I already have those seeds saved from last year. And then the last thing I want to show you is three things I'm going to try to plant for our chickens. Oak Abode made a video and she was talking about plants that they, they grew to supplement their chicken food. And since chicken food is so expensive, I figured it was worth a shot. Like these seed packets were $2 each. So for $6, if I can supplement our chicken food, I will gladly do that. So we have two kinds of amaranth. This is Love Lies Bleeding Amaranth and Red Garnet Amaranth. Then I also have this Mixed Sorghum. Um, so these are supposed to be relatively easy to grow and chickens love them. So looking forward to trying all of that. The only things I believe, I'm sure there'll be something else that I decide that I need. The only things that I am currently planning to buy from a local nursery are some sunflower seeds, we love sunflowers. I just think they're so tall and beautiful and the bees love them and our chickens love to eat them. We will save the sunflower seed heads and let them um, just kind of dry out and then we throw them to the girls throughout the winter just as a little treat for them when they are bored and <laughs> wishing for spring where they get lots of fresh veggies and stuff. Um, so I love to grow sunflowers, but I need some new seeds for that. I did not save seeds last year and I should have. So we need those. I need some green bean seeds. We usually get those from our local greenhouse because you can just like scoop out however much you want and put them in a bag and we grow quite a few green beans. So it's more cost effective to buy it from them. I do have some snap pea seeds left over from last year. I'm planning to plant those. Uh, so I won't need to buy those. I already have them. And what is my last item? Seed potatoes. We're gonna buy seed potatoes from our local nursery as well. I've considered also buying sweet potato slips, but we'll see if I end up doing that. That might just be a little too much. We'll just see how I'm feeling. Um, obviously, this is all best case scenario. If my seeds do not take off, I will totally buy starts from the nursery like I have been doing the past couple years. 
but I'm really hopeful that this goes well. So I will be showing you how I start all of my seeds in an upcoming video so we can all learn together from mistakes, successes, doesn't matter. We will be, we will be there to figure it out together. So I've been loving watching everyone else's seed hauls. I think it is so fun, especially in the dead of winter when you just need something to look forward to. Looking at all of these seeds makes me so happy and so hopeful for what is coming. So I hope you have a great day. Drop your favorite seed suggestions down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.